Hello, hello, Trisha Andreessen here, helping you find the way back to you, your joy, your passion, oh, your breathing, your peace, a little bit of joy, just a little bit, through doing some art and crafting and even some writing. I've got a gratitude journal coming out soon, and I'm thinking about doing a gratitude workshop with y'all. I know how much that helps me to be grateful. A good friend of mine says, always say, I'm happy and grateful. So I will share that as I'm painting those because you see that this is dark green and this one is light turquoise. So I'm actually going around and changing these light turquoise. So I'm happy and grateful that I painted the colors I did last night. So I had the opportunity to change them today. So what's the moral of painting the barn quilt? is you can always paint over it. There's that saying, life is a canvas. No one can paint it but you. Is that what it says? Something like that. Life is your canvas. I don't know. Anyways, last night I had done the ripe apricot and it just didn't feel right to me. So what, um, I'm gonna give you a little teaching tip, okay? So um, you can actually go and do color swatches and say, what colors go with royal blue and white? And that is exactly what I did. And I found a whole bunch of new color swatches because last night I was painting with y'all with really no agenda. Boy, talk about, I feel like I'm life coaching myself. When you try to start doing something with no intentional vision or outcome, you sometimes get the colors messed up. So sure enough, that is what happened. Now some said, yes, it's pretty, but for me, it did not feel right. So I went back and did that palette and I noticed that it was a series of some grays and some lighter colors. So last night when I was doing the class with y'all, I said that this was perfect, that it was an eight pointed star, and then underneath, we had another layer of an eight-pointed star. So I haven't decided on that, even though I do have the, the painting palette um, or, you know, kind of in my head. I thought I would just jump on for a few minutes and show you the progress of the butterfly because um, y'all were, a lot of y'all were on with me last night and you were saying, I cannot wait to see what you come up with. And I wanted just to show you how it is changing. So um, don't forget if this is something that you love, and you love butterflies or you wanna try this one, um, I have it through 7.30 tonight, that ridiculously low cost with the shipping as a way to give back from y'all watching and learning with me because I just love you guys. I didn't have y'all, I'd just be talking to myself and a psychiatrist would be like, Trisha, how often do you talk to yourself? <laughs> I would be like, um, quite a bit, doctor. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just woke up from a nap, so I'm a little slap happy, that's why. Okay, so this is light turquoise and I'm probably going to introduce a dark turquoise also in the background. Um... I'm just gonna see how these four boxes feel and see if I actually decide to match this one. You know, sometimes that's why it's just a little fun to play with the colors and see what in the world happens. Oh my goodness sakes. You gotta see my face even though. My goodness sakes, totally forgot. Okay, I have to upload it on Amazon so that way it's like a book. So I have to slow down and get my hand out of the paint. Um, but I am going to be doing a barn quilt um, graph book that has the eight by eight grids on how I teach it and happy tribe. And I also have a tracing or like coloring book that's going to have these designs in it. So what that will do is you'll say, well, what is the big deal about that? Because instead of like painting on the big piece of wood and then you go, oh, I don't like that. Um, you'll be able to play around with your own colors. I love being able to play. We just got to play more in life, especially today. It's Friday. Friday. Oh, my gosh. I need to stop the coffee, y'all. 
Either that. Okay. If you want to send me happy gifts, I can give you my address. Not that you have to, but because yeah, my birthday's already passed. But the two things, three things I love besides art. I love coffee mugs. I love coffee mugs. Anything that says something, because I feel like I'm holding my own personal affirmation and I love affirmation art. Number two, I love socks, smiley face socks, happy socks, affirmation socks. I just love socks. In fact, I usually have to clean out my socks and repurpose them every few years. What else is there about me that maybe you'd want to know? Hmm. I wear hats. I've worn hats a lot more than in, in the, the real world because I'm always painting and I'm like, oh, let me run down to the cottage. I need to go ahead and get started with you guys. So I'm like, I don't want to do my makeup. I don't want to do my hair. So I just put on my hat and I run down because I want to play with y'all. So anyways, happy socks. Totally. I want you to know, I was on, I went on a trip with my girlfriend, Connie. She's awesome. And we were it, like rooming together at um, like at a hotel. And I was literally telling her that I love socks. And at Walmart years ago, they had had these smiley face socks that were just regular plain. And I guess you probably want to see these colors while I'm painting. Okay. They were regular plain. And then on the side of the ankle, they had little googly eyes and I was like, oh my gosh, look at these little googly eyes. They move. And so I started uh, like going on Google. This was way before Amazon got to the level, you know, it is today. And I was like, googly eyed socks. But now that I'm an artist, I could just buy my own googly eyes and put them on my own sock. In fact, I got myself some fabric paint. Do you think we need to like make our own googly eyed socks? That would be kind of fun, especially for like Mother's Day. We could make our own happy socks. Oh my gosh. Some of y'all are probably jumping off going, she was supposed to show me painting. Why isn't she showing me painting stuff? I don't know. Cause I'm just being a little slap happy on a Friday. All right. <laughs> Um, that's okay. But you have to remember, I live with two men, okay? Not like that TV show, you know, whatever that show was. I can't even think. You know the show I'm talking about. But my husband and my 20-year-old son. Two men and me. And they talk about politics and the stock market and basketball. And my husband watches the woodworking videos and they get kind of tired of me talking about art and affirmations and inspiration and Jesus and all those things. I, seriously. So who am I going to talk to? I have to talk to y'all. Otherwise, I think I'd, go, I'd just go a little crazy. I miss you guys. Oh, my gosh. We totally need to do. A painting party. So if you live near me, we need to do one. Oh, oh, and because of the travel industry, do you know, having like how they've had their slowdowns and stuff, you know, what we could totally do. We could have a guy. I know I'm like you guys that are listening. I don't mean to leave you out, but we could totally have a girls weekend. We could actually like call like at the Hampton or whatever. And we could get like a little room block and we could have our room and we could do our bar quilt and we could have a, we could have like our fun little like happy painting quilting. We need a name. We so need a name. You need to write me a name. But anyways, all right, there we go. <laughs> Thank you for listening. I'm glad I'm getting this out because I am talking to my technical friend on some stuff with my technical website. And if I came to the call this slap happy, he would probably be like, okay, Trisha, what are you on? Or how much caffeine are you on today? And I'd be like, a lot. I might be turning more into my sister. My sister, I had to give her a coffee grinder, like a hand grinder, 
because she loves coffee so much that she just loved the smell of it. The other day I was at a coffee shop, right? And I was talking with them and I said, oh yeah, I said, I'm so into like the, the coffee ritual in the morning. I said, I get my mug, I pick out the one that says what I want it to say. I say, and then I put my, you know, my creamer in it, and then I decorate it with this dollop of sugar-free whipped cream, and they go, oh my gosh, you're an artist with your coffee. And I went, you're right. I am an artist. And the owner, she just cracked up. She's like, actually, she really is an artist. <laughs> so I'm like, yes, I guess I even design or paint my coffee. What do you think? I think I like this better, don't you? I really do. What's funny is this doesn't really look like the eight-pointed star, I think, because of the butterfly in the middle. But I think it's going to look pretty once we do the butterfly design in the middle. So if I decide to do that tonight with y'all, I'll just bounce on. If not, I will have some date time with my hubby. You know, once you're married, like 21 plus years, I mean, well, before COVID, we were pretty good about the date thing. Hey, do you want to go to the movies? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? And then we were at home, right? And then we got in our comfy clothes. And then before I knew it, boy, I didn't spend as much on makeup. That's for sure. Because um, he would say, I love you no matter how you look, baby. And now a year later, we're like, we, I'm giving like a total plug to Walmart. Walmart had this, Walmart.com has it where they can deliver things to you. We're like, oh, let's do that instead of the big crowd. So it used to be that we would say on a Friday night, hey, you want to go to Walmart and walk around? <laughs> uh, that would be no now. Um, especially because we've kind of gotten conditioned on like the less crowds, the better. And, of course, you see our fire pit and stuff. And we just love that. We used to play cards a lot. And we don't play cards like we used to. Um, I mean, we still love being together. But, you know, as you go through time changes, I mean, like aging things, you, you do different things. And recently, we haven't done any big art projects together like wood and me painting because of my shoulder but what's coming to me is i think we're gonna have to do something for the summer in the yard maybe 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 oh i am loving this gray with light turquoise so much better so much better okay so i'm gonna just keep y'all posted as I see what time it is, and my friend is going to be giving me a techie call in nine minutes. Can you believe I ran a technology company? Yes. And I would say I'd be pretty savvy. I mean, I was the CEO. And there's this new piece of technology that is just about driving me a little crazy. And I'm like, okay, is it my age because I'm just like, oh, I don't really want to, you know, sit there and figure that out for four hours. I don't think so because I'm pretty tech savvy. But the interface on this piece of technology, they say, oh, it's so simple. Uh, really? Personally, I think they tried to make it so intuitive that they have you click it on so many darn things. Why not have you do step one and then say, okay, now that you're done with this, would you like to create an email follow-up? If so, click here. Anyways, I'm babbling about technology. Yeah, I've got to feel me on the technology thing, right? I mean... Sometimes the more simple they think they're making it, the more confusing they make it. Maybe this is why I like art. And of course, y'all are looking at this going, okay, well, all this, this has got to be hard. And I will tell you, doing these geometric animals, 
with the barn quilt concept, um, I was going a little insane myself on that part too. I was like, seriously? But I love it. Now the bare barn quilt, the bear is like this width, just so you're like, the bear is like this large, right? And the horse one, the horse head is like this large. So this butterfly one is smaller. And I did that one with, with this. However, Kurt gave me, yes, that's my sweet hubby who I love. He gave me a great idea. He was like, what do you think about blowing up the butterfly and having it as without the border like this and just having her on one big, large circle or square. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm going to have to be doing that. Oh, and you wonder why my back goes out. Yeah. Cause I'm sitting in the install on my chair. That's what I was just doing. So, but I think I'm going to do another layout of the butterfly um, not a small in the middle. And I am seriously thinking about just doing one big butterfly. I think that would be just awesome. Because look at those lines. Okay, I am going to jump off because I've already said that like three times. So love y'all brunches. Keep following me over the weekend. Okay. All right. Talk to you later.